fire, 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 fall on me. Oh, fire, 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 fall on me. On the day of Pentecost, fire, fall on me. We are praying for the Holy Spirit baptism and the manifestation of the gift of the Holy Spirit. The, the system is already charged already. But listen to me. I give you three quick scriptures. Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 27. Ezekiel 36, 27. And the Bible says, and I will put my spirit within you and, and, and cause you to walk in my statutes. And ye shall keep my judgments and do them. So there is the within spirit. Spirit within you. Such a spirit is the born again spirit. And the Bible says that the within spirit is put in you. But in Joel chapter 2, Verse 28 and 29. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. So we have the within spirit and the upon spirit. The within spirit is put in you, but the upon spirit is poured on you. What we crave today is not the within, but the upon. The within has already been deposited when you became born again. But the within spirit serves as an initial fuel for the upon spirit. And the upon spirit acts on the initial fuel to set the believer ablaze. Once you are set ablaze, the fuel can never be spent. So there is nothing like a spent force in the kingdom. Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 3. Isaiah 44 verse 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. And flash upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed. So, the upon spirit is incidental on subsequent generations. That was why Peter said, this promise is for you and your children and all who will come after us. So, we are being baptized today not for us alone, but for the project.
journey that will come after us. The within spirit, which is the born again spirit that was deposited in you, causes the believer to bear the fruit of the spirit. But the upon spirit that will be poured on you today causes the believer to break the grounds of the spirit. Hallelujah. The upon spirit is lingering on, waiting for his victims who are ready to play host to him. The Holy Ghost is ready. And listen to this. There are two forms. Two forms. What happened in Acts chapter 2 is what we refer to as xenolalia. Speaking an unlearned language but a possible earthly dialect. Xenolalia. And then if you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 1. If I speak with the tongues of men and of angels. So another term has been introduced. You have spoken a language you've never spoken before. Yes. That is it. Mm. Continue. Mm. Speak. Yes. Speak. Yes. Continue. Yes. Rokon. Mandiri bosa. Likanda. Habale zaki. Inde likanda ni. Now listen. The upon spirit mm. is a functional spirit, yes. not a positional spirit. Mm, mm, mm. When we are baptized in the Holy Ghost, mm. it is for service. Hallelujah. We function under His unction. Yes. We don't care about titles. Mm, mm. It is the function we follow, yes. not the position. Mm. This outpouring yes. will make bosses laborers. Mm. People who will enter the ditches mm. and the gutters to work for the kingdom mm. and for God. People who will not care ah. about whether they are apostles mm. or pastors mm. or elders mm. or pensa president mm. or secretary. Mm. Those are secondary matters. But we are unworthy servants. Yes. 
All we care about is to do his duty. Yes. Submerge yourself in this. Immerse yourself in this. Sweep over my soul. Sweep over my soul. you've never spoken before just identify yourself to the leaders around at your center just identify yourself just notify them that you have spoken a language you've never spoken before this is the outpouring season just identify yourself I have spoken a language I've never spoken before an, an unlearned language but maybe an earthly dialect or a heavenly dialect. Jesus is at work. Jesus is at work. Jesus is at work. Yours has begun. Yours has begun. Continue in it. Speak. 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 Rokoto le kandali. In Delhi, Antali, Kandale. Oh. Now we are using the next 10 minutes. The upon spirit, which is the Holy Ghost baptism, unleashes the gifts of the spirit. So, if you are baptized, this is the time for the manifestation of the gifts of the spirit. Nine gifts in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and from verse 8. Nine fruit of the spirit, nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says a false balance is an abomination unto the Lord. A bird can never fly with 
one wing a bird flies with a pair of wings the believer must bear the fruit and the believer must exhibit the gift of the spirit it makes the believer balanced we are praying for the gifts of the holy spirit word of wisdom which concerns the future sometimes the present word of knowledge which rewinds the tape gives us the past discerning of spirits which distinguishes between good and bad spirit prophecy which edifies encourages and exhorts working of miracles you say there are fake prophets but where are the genuine ones if the prophets we encounter on social media are fake there is always fake because there is the genuine so where are the genuine ones but the lord has given us tokens in the bible or the good to be differentiated from the bad this is the time gift of healings which is curative life